Welcome back to Central New York's Open House. Well, we're on site at the first annual Daniel Barden Highland Mud Fest run. We're at the MKJ Farms here in Deansboro, and it's a little chilly out, but we're getting the work started, and we're going to be making the entire course right here on the farm. And all the equipment is being provided by Clinton Tractor, and I'm joined with John Caledona. How you doing, John? Hi, Scott. Nice to see you. Now, we got a lot going on here out at the farm, and we're building a mud course. You've provided all the equipment. What goes into this construction? And tell me a little bit about what, what, you know, what the equipment is and what are we doing here? Well, this here is a New Holland uh, skid steer loader, and as you can see, it's on rubber tracks. So this type of machine can virtually go almost anywhere. Um, again, you're talking mud, so we're talking sloppy conditions. We're talking ice and snow like this morning. So a machine like this versus one with wheels, again, can you know, really be accessible to the whole track. Now they're, th this is putting in posts? They're putting in posts There's an here. attachment on there now. Okay. One thing about all skid steers, especially New Holland, is they accept all kinds of attachments. This is a, a post pounder. It hooks up relatively really fast and you can drop out of that into a um, bucket or into an auger or any kind of attachment. I think we've talked about it on previous shows. So there's different attachments for the for the front of the unit that can do all sorts of different work? Yes. Here, because of what they have to do, we're going to put up a fence to kind of contain people for the start. There's a brush chipper that I brought along also, so as they clear the trail through the woods to get rid of all the brush, it's, a, it's an actual chipper. There's a grapple bucket up on the hill that'll grab all the brush and bring it to a pile, and then once we get it to the pile, then we'll, then we'll be able to dispose of it. And for the race, you're also going to be providing other equipment for getting people around the around the course, people movers, you know, well, there's going to be all kinds of activity here. Correct. We have our club car utility vehicle. We'll probably send a six passenger one up that'll get some of the race spotters and some of the safety people into place where they have to be. Uh, God forbid there's some sort of an accident. They're going to need to be accessible on the track or to the whole track. Um, there's a mini excavator here. It's a they have to dig ponds, and waterways. Uh, they have to create some of the some of the um, some of the course. So they're going to have to have some man-made uh, stunts and stuff. Now, all the equipment that's supplied here on site for this construction of this event is all supplied by Clinton Tractor, and it, it seems like a really large event, more that you would use in a commercial application. But some of this equipment is used right for residential projects, also, right, John? Yes, it is. Uh, that's the great part about the equipment. It's so flexible, it can go from a small residential pr uh, project to a uh, everyday construction site to an event like this, absolutely. So what if there is a problem here out on the site? Would you be able to come out and repair the equipment here or provide a loaner? Yes, if they had a problem, I'm sure that they'd get a hold of us right away. And such a time sensitive e event, getting the course ready, we have a, loaners right on staff or we'd have a mechanic come out. Now, it's a huge project. We're getting excited about this event. Um, we're gonna come back out in a couple of weeks to see how far we've come. We're doing a lot here today, um, but obviously with the weather, we're a little restricted. We'll be back in a couple of weeks to see how further we've got along in the project. And with your help, we'll get this course done. We'll get it nice and muddy for the event coming up in April, but we'll come back out. We'll take a ride on the club car and check out the, uh, check out the course and see where we've come. Sounds great. Okay. Thank you.